why would you do that you know and i think she kind of knew that she messed up i'm like now see if i call it out then i'm gonna be the bitc <laughs> Hey guys, you're watching my real life vlogs. Welcome back, welcome back. Look in. Say hi. <laughs> Me and my little sidekick, Annie Boo, are back on a solo mission like the good old days. Well, not really solo, but you know, just me and her is basically what I'm trying to say. I see people out here decorating for Halloween and stuff. I still haven't done anything, but these people don't play, y'all. They are getting this stuff out <laughs> and put up. So me and Ann are just running a quick errand and running to the grocery store really quick. Mommy had a taste for some gourmet cheese <laughs> and fig spread, and I gotta have it, okay? And uh, I wanted Ann to come with me. I quickly got her dress and everything. I'm like, let's roll, Ann, how we used to be. Just me and you, let's roll. So Anthony and Ava are at the crib chilling. Also, y'all, my friend Nini and her family, girl, they are on their way over. They are in town. Y'all know Nini lives in Arizona now. So they're in town visiting and they made time to come and visit us on this awesome Sunday. So they're headed our way. So I'm actually kind of trying to hurry up so I can beat them back. But they're meeting Ava for the first time and just hanging out, you know, catching up and all this stuff. It's been years since Anne got to hang out with Preston. That's Nini's son. So I am very excited for them to kind of hang out and play. I'm glad it's a nice day. They can go out and in the backyard and all that stuff so that's what we're preparing for as a family today i'm really looking forward to it y'all i'm looking at people over here at this trail like riding their bikes and walking and getting in that nice weather exercise and i'm so jealous <laughs> I need to be over there. Anthony went to the gym yesterday. He said the gym members were asking about me. I'm like, I'm coming. <laughs> so yeah, me and Ann are gonna run up in Mariano's really quick and then we're going to quickly get back home. I think Ann is excited to be hanging with her mommy. When I was like, let's go to the car, girl, Ann beat me to the car. Okay, she beat me to the car. Okay, we're here. As crowded as ever, we got a handicapped parking spot, so happy about that. But yeah, this is about to be something else. Hopefully, we can get in and get out. You ready, Annie Boo? You ready? <laughs> Come on, sweet girl. Come on, can you push it? You gotta hold on. Push it. No, 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 not ride it. Push it. There we go. She's helping her mommy. Are you helping me? Come on, let's go this way. <laughs> Get it in. <laughs> she working it. He working it in. Oh, let's get this one. Okay, come on. We got to push it that way. No, push, push. Put your feet down. Push, 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 push. Come on, sweet girl. Oh, I got the moms out. Follow me this way. So tempted to get, but I don't know if I want to mess with the moms this year. Come on, Erin. Hold on right here. Hold on right here. Okay. Hold on. Follow me, big girl. Hold on. And did so good. She only fell out twice. She only threw her fidget into the ceiling once. <laughs> um, boy, that mug. It took like five minutes for it to come down. Come on. <laughs> she did good. Okay, headed home. The girl on the register was like, paper or plastic? I was like, paper for show. Proceeds to bag my groceries up with plastic. I'm like, now see if I call it out and be like, hey, I said paper, then I'm gonna be the B-I-T-C, you know what. So I'm like, eh, blah, blah, blah. plastic it is. That's why I hate people. <laughs> Yummy, this is all I wanted. <laughs> I do feel like I got the wrong cheese though. This is the texture of brie. That's not really what I was going for, but I was grabbing it too fast and rushing. So whatever, it's still good though. Ready? Say hi. Oh. <laughs> 
Clean. So cute in her little rose outfit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Anthony's in the shower listening to Usher, honey. <laughs> so Ava Weva just got her little sponge bath and uh, we were just hanging out in the nursery and everything. Y'all, I gotta replace these lights in this light fixture here. Two of the bulbs like just pass out. Um, I don't know what happened to them. It's those weird LEDs. The same thing happened in our closet uh, light fixture so I need to go to Menards. So she just got cleaned up and everything and she's feeling so chill and calm. She smells so good y'all. I used uh, one of the little bath products that we got from the hospital when I delivered her and I just love the smell of it. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I run out because it's like a tiny little one ounce bottle. I'm like where do I get this fragrance because it smells like the perfect baby scent. Do y'all know what I mean? Like it smells like baby powder and products these days be like unscented and all that you can't really find that like baby scent so I really like it it's just like a little soap anywho y'all I bought her some new onesies off Amazon I really like these ones um they're the newborn size and that's what we needed because y'all we have so many zero to three months and that stuff is just swallowing her up these are cool because they're stretchy and so they really um like hug onto the baby because I think what you don't want is for the clothing to be too big and loose so I really like the stretchy ones that go on this material is so soft I gotta just clip these extra little snacks off of here like why are there so many snags maybe it was my dryer that little baby about to go to sleep oh you gonna sleep good girl so Ann came in here the other day and took that forever rose bouquet that was sitting right here girl took it ripped it to a million pieces it was all over the rug and all that stuff and you know it wouldn't have been a big deal until I realized that those roses were dyed red so y'all it was like red dye all over this rug but I remember when I first put it in here I made sure to spray it down with scotch guard before I added any furniture or anything so I was able to scrub all of that red dye out of this rug you should have saw me and Anthony in here on all fours, scrubbing that rug, getting all those dye blotches out. I was so upset with her. I was like, Ann, why would you do that? You know, and I think she kind of knew that she messed up. But yeah, y'all, she came in here and tore up the rose bouquet. So I'm not going to get another one because it's going to be too tempting for her to tear it up. You know, because the petals are so soft and easily rippable and all that. So I'm just going to charge it to the game, you know. So yeah, you guys, Anthony's on his way to a work lunch Thing with colleagues um, they're trying to figure out some kind of task force thing he was trying to explain it to me but sometimes that stuff be like whew. <laughs> and y'all last night we had a really good time Nene her husband Mike and her son Preston came over as you guys saw we had a really good time just chilling they stayed pretty late I didn't blog a whole lot as you saw it was really nice for Ann and Preston to get together again they haven't played together in years and it was really awesome to catch up with Nene we had a lot to catch up on and we ordered some pizza and wings and we ate some caramel cake <laughs> <laughs> from Mariano's. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the shower real quick. As y'all can see, I got on my sports bra <laughs> from my night sweat. It wasn't too bad last night. It's actually starting to taper off a bit. So I'm gonna jump in the shower and let Ava finish getting her nap. I'm actually gonna take her into the bedroom and put her in the snoo while I get in the shower. And then I'm gonna say bye to Anthony. I'm gonna go check on Sansa and then uh, I'll check back in with you guys. Okay, while Ava is still having her nap, I went ahead and hopped in the shower real quick. Sitting here texting my best friend. She's planning a trip to come visit us. So it's gonna be great. Girl, more braiding hair coming out. I gotta find some time to take these braids down. We are in the final phase. I know it's gonna take me like four hours to take them out. So I'm just trying to figure out what's the best time to do that. But I'm feeling amazing. Just got out of the shower, feeling all fresh and clean, fitting all my old clothes. I was really surprised I could fit this t-shirt. <laughs> I 
like these braids could probably go for like six weeks or so just depending on how long you like to leave hairstyles in i'm bored so i'm gonna take them out but y'all these really i mean they look so good they're not even like in dire need to be taken down i just need some different all right i put on a serum when i first uh cleansed my face and now i'm gonna just put on a moisturizer my skin has been looking and feeling really nice, y'all. I feel like between taking my prenatal vitamins and drinking lots of water, that's really all you can do. I'm just leaving it up to nature to just heal my body and, you know, get me through this recovery phase. And I think, I think it's working. Stress has been minimal. I'm not trying to control things that I can't. I'm just taking it one day at a time. I'm just focusing on me and positive things. And it's been working out to my benefit, I must say. I was just telling Anthony this morning like how the biggest difference between the recovery this time and then with Anne was that I'm not trying to rush anything, you know what I mean? I have a clearer understanding of what this recovery process looks like and I know what I'm capable of. So while I do want to get out there and get back physically active and work out and get my six pack back and all that stuff, I know that it's going to take time and I'm a lot more graceful as it relates to patience in that area. I slept in this morning much later than I usually would, y'all. Like I feel like I woke up. What time did I wake up? I woke up, it was almost 11 and um, Ava was in her bassinet. Me and her both were just sleeping through the morning. Anthony was the one getting Anne ready and all that stuff. But I feel like I miss her because I'm like, I didn't see her all morning. I gave her a bath last night. So we had our little moment then right before she went to sleep. But because I didn't see her this morning, I feel some type of way. I don't know, I might carve out some time just to spend with her this afternoon when she gets home from school. But I needed the rest y'all because I was up pretty extensively last night with Ava because she did not want to go back to sleep. So I feel like I was up with her for longer than usual. It was probably closer to like an hour and a half, two hours. So I didn't rush the process. I just kind of, you know, tried to meet her needs and comfort her. And then we ended up going back to sleep. And yeah, I was pretty exhausted. So the day feels like it's moving really fast. It's like much later in the day. And I feel like I've only been up for a little while. So I hate when that happens, <laughs> but it's fine. I just want to get in the bed early tonight so I can get up on time tomorrow. Okay, my sweet girl is home from school. <laughs> I'm about to finally eat and then we probably will sit outside for a second with Sansa. I got a package in the mail over here. When Anne comes home, her harness goes here. This is what she rides in the school bus with. Dropped her boots, her bag, her jacket, and ran straight to the kitchen for a snack and the iPad. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Oh, okay. Um, it's an infant formula. Uh, I don't know who sent me this. <laughs> it was great. It was a lot of catching up. Come here, Ann. Ann. You see the baby? Kiss the baby. Oh, she, Anthony, she giving me the bottle. You giving me the bottle for the baby? Oh, come here, Ann. So earlier, she was feeding the baby the bottle. You missed it. Come here, come here, Ann. Come here, sit right here, sit right here. Let me see, let me see this. You wanna hold the baby? Sit back, sit back. You kiss the baby? Be careful. Sit back, sit back, you wanna hold her? Sit back. You see yourself? And sit back. You wanna hold her? Here, here. Okay. And you need both hands so you can be careful with it, okay? You hold the baby? You you done holding her? Okay, okay, I'll take yeah. her. I'll take her. Okay. Thank you. Give me a kiss. Thank you, big girl. <laughs> Ava just sleeping through the whole ordeal. She's like, what yeah. is going on? Yeah. I guess y'all will tell me about it because I'm catching some Z's, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Hey. Sweet girl. So we are just chilling for the evening. He's making Ann some dinner. <laughs> hey you guys, it's a couple days later. I have not reached for this camera. I've just been chilling. But anywho, it's the afternoon. Well, it's still morning, it's not even noon yet. But I'm out running errands, I just went to the post office and I'm now headed to the beauty supply. I've been putting it off, but I'm like, I need to 
at some point get this braiding hair, right? Which will motivate me to take these braids out um, so I can get started on my next hairstyle. I was looking in the mirror today at my new growth and I was like, dang, my hair grew a lot. I'm just so scared to take these braids out because I'm like, it's gonna be shed hair for days. If I'm remembering correctly, the whole postpartum shedding thing, I'm like, I'm gonna have hair everywhere when I take these braids out. It's a really nice day today, you guys. It's, uh, it's about 68, 69 degrees, which is fairly fair for this time of year, I must say. So where I'm headed now is actually my favorite beauty supply to go to, you guys. It is huge. It's like the Walmart of beauty supplies. They have everything from wigs to clothing to purses and jewelry and sunglasses, every type of hair you can imagine. So whenever I'm looking for something really specific, like a specific color, a specific type of braid, braiding hair, specific lengths, basically anything that's kind of off the beaten path, you definitely want to go to a place like this because they are most likely going to have it in abundance. And today, Ava Rose turned one month old and I just can't even believe it's been a month. Time is flying. I mean, seriously, time is flying. She's finally about to meet her great grandmother. Granny Rosa is going to be coming over this weekend, I believe, to finally meet her in person and spend some time with her. So we are really looking forward to that and then we do have some family members in town from Atlanta on Anthony's side so that's going to be really really cool really looking forward to that y'all all right enough chit chat we're at the beauty supply let me run in here <laughs> collar from when we took those family photos. All right, back home. Ava's upstairs sleeping with Daddy. And uh, I'm like, let me cook something. I gotta taste for some sausages. So I'm just heating up these sausages here. I'm gonna make some pasta. I'm gonna mix it all with some marinara sauce. Just make a quick lunch. I'm also tempted to stop and get food, but I'm like, nope, 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 I can wait. I'm just gonna whip this up really quick. This is one of those like 30 minute meal type things. So there's really no excuse. I really only be buying food that can be cooked quickly like this, you know? For example, last night's dinner, we had some filet mignon steaks and some air fryer french fries. And that dinner was done in about 24 minutes, right? So that's how you gotta set yourself up for success if you really are trying seriously not to be eating out all the time. I gotta just add some Italian seasoning and you have an Italian dish. <laughs> I'm gonna use my vacuum sealer to preserve these last two sausages. And I bought some extra bags off Amazon. These ones have labels. If you guys didn't see my last video where I was kind of demonstrating and talking about this product, definitely check it out. Otherwise, I'll put the link in the description box if you guys are interested in buying a vacuum sealer like this. This one came from Amazon. I think it was like less than $40 and then it was also on sale. sealed this on moist mode since the sausages were a little wet. I'm just going to date them and I'll pop them in the freezer. Uh, definitely right on it before you seal it. that pasta sauce right in there with the meat and all the juices and grease and seasoning from the meat to kind of help season the sauce. It's usually good enough for me. And then once this simmers a bit, 
I'll just add the noodles to it and then we'll be done. I have to show y'all what I got from the beauty supply. I was in there for so long this time trying to decide how to, you know, put the colors together and stuff. Cause I told y'all I'm doing like blonde and that's a tricky color cause you gotta get it right in terms of like, you know, blending your real hair into the mix. And my real hair is kind of long. It's about maybe 16 inches or just coming up on 16 inches. So I have to make sure I'm getting hair. If I'm gonna do the ombre, I gotta make sure I'm getting hair this enough of the black, you know, before it starts to fade into the lighter colors, like the blondes and the, you know, whatever. Because if I don't, then I'll have like these like black pieces from my real hair mixed in with the light, light blonde. And it'll kind of start looking like a checkerboard. And I don't really like that look because I've done that before and it's okay, but I don't really like, like it. So I was in there like really contemplating, like it took forever. So I finally landed on the color mix that I think is gonna work. So I'll show y'all, but I, I hope it works out. Just added my pasta in here. What is this, rigatoni? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Meal done in about 18 minutes, y'all. And my favorite sauces when I make pasta at home is going to be your standard cream sauce and your marinara sauce. So this is finished. Over here, I'm gonna start on Annie Boo Boo's lunch for when she gets home. I'm just gonna make her a basic spaghetti and she doesn't like meat or anything in it. She just likes a little bit of pasta sauce. show y'all what I ordered from Amazon. Y'all see me with this light behind me. So I ordered a bunch of stuff to wear. I wanted to kind of up my fashion a little bit, just a little bit. And y'all, I'm in a really interesting transition period because I'm postpartum, still pretty early on. So my body is a little different still, right? Like I've lost a significant amount of weight. I ain't tripping on that. But I do have like the little pudge, you know, because my uterus is not fully all the way back to the way it was. And I know it's gonna take a while because I did this before. <laughs> so I was trying to pick fashion that would like not accentuate the pudge so much and then but also keep me comfortable so I don't have to like I don't want to be sucking in and all that I want to wear things that complement my body but doesn't emphasize my stomach but also doesn't smash my stomach you know just trying to be like fair with my body and be like logical and reasonable about it you know so if you guys want to see examples of what I mean by that if you guys want to see like output of the days but then let me know if y'all want to see that because I can probably throw some OOTDs together for the girls. But anywho, um, I'm a hat lady like my paternal grandmother. So when I see hats, I'd be like, yes. So I ordered this really slick fedora. I think that's what the style of this hat is called. Super clean, y'all look at this. Can you see me wearing this with like a blazer? Like this isn't one of those hats that you just throw on to be all casual. This is a dressy hat, right? Like you gotta bring it with the shoes, the makeup, you know what I mean? It's kind of giving Michael Jackson from the 80s, okay? So yeah, it has like a little dark brown full leather strap and then we have like this gold metallic embellishment here. Let me pull this plastic off so y'all can truly see it. Great, the plastic doesn't wanna come off. Lovely, knew that was gonna happen. I'll fool with this plastic later, but anyway, that's what it looks like. So it doesn't fit properly with the ponytail, but you know, something like that. You know what I'm saying? So I really like the way the top looks. Anywho, I'm gonna move this camera because I don't think, I don't think y'all can see me well. Let me put it right here. Is that better? That might be better. Yeah, okay. So there's the hat. What else did I order? Have mercy, I don't even remember. You know how you just be on Amazon sometimes just like putting stuff in the cart and just hoping it works out? That's kind of where we're at. What is this? Oh, so this is a skirt that I bought, right? So I'm finding that pleats and texture and you know things like that help to camouflage bulky areas on the body that you don't want to emphasize. So I wanted to order this skirt. I hope it fits y'all, because I had to get smalls, because if I go a size up, because I'm five foot four, five foot five, whatever, it'll drag on the floor, and it'll just defeat the whole entire purpose if I have to then sit up here and like alter it by hemming the bottom. I don't want to have to do that. So I got a small, but I was looking specifically for clothing 
especially bottoms that had an elastic band to give me that give around my stomach so I could fit into it, but also kind of pull me together a little bit because I'm definitely gonna be wearing shapewear as well. So I like how the front of the skirt looks like a regular skirt and then the back is like this hidden comfort mechanism. You know what I mean? So that's a little hack there. And it's pleated, so it's gonna kind of camouflage the bulk in this area. I like the length, it's not too, too long. And it's still fashionable. So yeah, I bought a couple of skirts for that purpose. And they're not all long like this. Uh, I do have a skirt that's rather short. <laughs> it's like a mini skirt. Um, okay, what else do we have here? A beret. Uh, I actually never wore a beret before. So like I said, the ponytail is up there getting in the way and all that. But I mean, you know, fair enough, right? It was like a dollar. What else? Another hat. I told y'all I'm the hat lady, for real, for real. I'm really the hat lady. So we got another fedora. It came packaged really well, y'all, with like the protection and all that to keep the hat in its true form. I'll put links to all this stuff below if y'all want to explore. But yeah, this is a camel color and I thought this would be cute. All these hats are like one size fits all. You know what I'm saying? I think it's cute. So there's that one. What else? What else did I get? I don't even know. I don't even remember. Oh. <laughs> Some Dr. Scholl's heel and wedge inserts. All right, so, so far nothing looks like it needs to be returned. So I'm happy about that. Ah, okay, this is a little handbag that I ordered. I wanted something fun, unique, and different. So this is what I ordered. Okay, so. Definitely checks off the list, right? Fun, unique, and different, but and it's kind of heavy too. Um, it smells like a shoe store. <laughs> so in the review, some people were complaining about the golds being different colors. The gold here is more of like a brass gold antique, and then the gold everywhere else is more of like a yellow gold, really shiny. But I'm not that mad at it, because sometimes the gold contrast is fun. So I don't know. What some people were saying in a positive light was that there was a lot of room inside the bag, which I can already tell there is plenty. And they were saying how they can fit like the whole iPhone, like if you got like a big iPhone like me, it's gonna be able to fit in sideways. So if I dump it down there sideways, I can definitely fit it in, which is great. And then it does have a shoulder strap that you can attach. It's got these little fake pearls on there, which is fun if you need to carry this thing along your shoulder or do a crossbody with it. It's kind of short for a crossbody, but I guess you could pull it off if you really needed to. It's cute, y'all. It's like a full leather. Y'all see that? It's fun, but I don't know how I feel about it just yet. The verdict is still out on this. I might return it. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to try it on with a couple of outfits and see how I feel about it, you know? All right, let me get my phone out of here. Before I forget, I'll be looking for my phone like, where did I, where did I put it? <laughs> okay, what else? So, so far we have one potential return. I'm not, I'm not too sure about it just yet, y'all. Let me try it on with some clothing, see how we feel. Okay, wait a minute, what's going on here? Oh, all right, yes, I remember this. <laughs> it's like Christmas or like your birthday. So I wanted to get this t-shirt, I hope it fits. You never know with these t-shirts. Uh, you never know, but yeah, I liked it. I thought it was fun. To all the ladies in the place with style and grace, Diggy. <laughs> um, Girl, why does this smell like somebody's perfume? So I thought it was fun, just as a nice little t-shirt. I'ma say though, I don't, I don't really care for the color because it's a little more yellowish in person than I thought. I thought it would be more of like an off-white. This is definitely like lemon flavored ice cream yellow. You know what I'm saying? So it's a little bit yellow. I'm not really a fan of yellow, so it's uh, bothering me a little bit. But yeah, this definitely smells like somebody's perfume. It doesn't smell like a body. I'm not saying somebody wore the shirt, but maybe as they were handling it while trying to package it, it rubbed off on their perfume, but this is definitely someone's perfume. Um, so I don't know about this one either. I'll make a decision later, but for this one, I'm almost leaning more towards returning, so I'm definitely gonna put it back in the packaging so it doesn't touch anything. So let me get rid of all this packaging. Thank y'all for listening, and uh, let me clean up my mess. Okay, here's the stuff I got for my hair. Just hoping that camera doesn't fall. Ah, 
Okay, <laughs> I had to get another braid in here rack. Basically, it's the same thing as the thread spool holders that you can get from like the craft store. This might be better for gripping than the wood ones because this is not wood. This is some kind of plastic material. They have some of those thread spool holders now. They have the stands. So those things stand like five feet and that's probably the better way to do it. But I wasn't going to spend $160 for it, you know, we'll just make that one work. But yeah, so this is the braiding hair that I chose, y'all. This is the Africana one. I actually really like Africana. It has good grip, right? But sometimes the black hair dye be bleeding. So we have to watch out for that. But this is what I got, y'all. It's a blend of 1B, a little bit of 30 in here, a little bit of 27, and then it goes into 613. So it's a really pretty gradient sort of graduation of color from that dark to that blonde, which is what I prefer. I always try to go with the ombre effect just because it's just easier on the eyes in my opinion, since my roots are dark, you know? So this pack has the six little bundles and they're small bundles. So I only got two packs and I'm probably gonna use it all. But sometimes I ain't gonna lie, I be getting tired of having left over here. My stash is starting to overflow. So I like just buying just enough if I can estimate it right. So hopefully I won't run out of hair. And um, yeah, this one is the one that's 24 inches. And then I'm gonna add some wavy hair at the bottom. This is the wavy hair that I got y'all because it was most economical. This is the organic Master Mix hair. Can y'all see it? Oh my God, the light. All right, so this is the Master Mix organic hair. This is the color 613. I'm just gonna cut it off the weft. And that's what I did last time and it worked out just fine. So this is a pack of three bundles. They're in different lengths. I think I saw like, oh, 18, 20, and 22. So that's a good trifecta there. And it's really an economical way to do it because for the three of these, I think it was only $24.99 versus buying each individual bundle for like $11.99, you know what I mean? So I feel like this was better. And then you get those three lengths so you have something to play with. I got myself one of these water bottles just cause I gave my other one to Cameron. <laughs> and speaking of Cameron, I ended up getting his rose water mist. So there's that, I got him a couple of these. I'm just gonna ship them directly to him. When I was standing in the store, I went on Amazon to see if they kind of had it just as a last ditch effort. And I saw that they did, but it was way more expensive than buying it from the beauty supply store. So I figured it would save money just to buy him these and then ship it to him versus trying to buy directly off Amazon and shipping it to him from Amazon. I probably would have spent like $15 more than I needed to. What else? I got some extra nail glue for the braids. I have some already, but I just wanted to be sure. I hate to run out and then, that is it. That's just the other bag of that hair. So that's all I got for the beauty supply, y'all. Like I said, I'm about to try to get these braids taken down. I know it's going to take me a few hours to do it. It might surprise me and not take that long, but I doubt it. <laughs> it's going to be at least three hours taking these out. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to start on the braids. But I do want to give my hair at least a day to just rest and be clean, blow dried, and then just kind of rest. And then I'll go into braiding because that's just going to keep from my scalp feeling super tender. You know, going from the shampoo, the blow drying and then the braiding and you know I want to give it a day to rest so it won't be sore and everything so yeah y'all I'm getting ready to take a nap before Ann gets home from school so I'll talk to y'all in the next scene. Hey guys I'm just popping in to close this vlog out. It's been a short day. I woke up really really late y'all. I slept till like 1 p.m because I was up all night with Ava literally all night like I woke up at 12 30 to address her needs and I didn't go back to sleep until about 6 45 a.m so I slept all afternoon. I only woke up because I had a call to take and I literally took the call, y'all, like I took the call from the bed. Like I just fixed my voice to sound like I had been awake for a while, but I played it off y'all. But I was like dead to the world for a few hours earlier. And I was so happy that Anthony took care of everything with the kids and I was able to just sleep through the afternoon. So I feel great. I just got to try to get in the bed on time tonight so I don't let this roll over into another day with like having my days and nights like thrown off. So I'm gonna try to catch up by getting in the bed on time. But anywho, <laughs> y'all, I wanted to tell y'all like I had to put on some regular jeans today because I woke up thinking, oh, I can just put on some maternity, you know, loungewear. I'll be fine. And that stuff is like fallen off of me. I never thought this day would come, but this stuff has fallen off me. So I had to switch to my regular jeans. I still have a pudge. But I'm just camouflaging it by putting this little tie right here so you can't really notice it from certain angles. You have to really be looking. So yeah, I also decided I'm taking these braids out um, on Sunday instead. So I'm just going to rock them for a couple more days. They hanging in there, y'all. Like, I really did that with these braids. Like, I really could leave these in for another two weeks if I wanted to. But I want to try a different style because as you can see, 
I've been packing for my trip and stuff, so I definitely want to have a different hairdo and everything for that. But yeah, I'm just going to put on my shoes and stuff because we actually headed out to go to dinner. And there's this Greek restaurant I really want to try, so we're going to go and have that. So I'm just changing into my clothes for that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to that. And I'm just going to close this vlog out here so I can catch you guys in the next one. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye! <laughs>